Welcome back everybody to Space Engineers. Okay, well, we got something that looks kind of a bit like a landing bed out of the base. Uh, we've I uh, kind of went a little nuts uh, in between times, made a lot of industrial centrifuges and a lot of refineries. The refineries are actually now uh, dedicated uh, each refi refinery that's uh, you can see behind those uh, efficiency upgrades. Let's see if I can't get not the tree. Let's land. Yeah, the game is actually uh, like I'm getting micro pauses through the whole game, so uh, you'll definitely notice that we, if I actually pass through the uh, refineries here, you get the little stutters in sound. If anybody is knows how to fix that thing. Um, yeah, please let's uh, leave something down in the comment section. I had a little misfortune with uh, the rover. It's kind of like when I loaded in, it decided to flip itself. And that's currently where it's staying right now until I get to such time as I think I might just disample it. Dis disample it? Dismantle it. But for now, yeah, see, little little, little micro stutters. It's, it's not unplayable, but it's not pleasant. But today we are going to be making... Oops. Apart from falling off the edge, I should have installed a railing there. Uh, uh, stutter, stutter, stutter. Here we go. Yeah, today we're going to be making a ship to go to space. Because I really, really need platinum for the next stage of industrial centrifuges. You need some, these alloy plates, and these alloy plates require platinum. A lot of platinum, actually. And I don't have a lot of platinum here, and the only way to get the platinum is in space. Okay, so we've got a nice little platform here. I'm probably going to actually start a time lapse right about now for the initial planning of the lower stage. So enjoy.
All right, well, that's the base frame sorted out. Pretty much the thinking here is to use atmospheric thrusters to get myself into a point where the atmospheric thrusters don't work anymore and then convert over to the hydrogen thruster here. Now, um, I'm not entirely sure whether one hydrogen thruster is going to be enough when I get to a point where the atmospherics don't work anymore, but uh, I'm hoping, I'm definitely hoping and also with the uh, landing platform as such. So we're going to pretty much continue with the build. Uh, I'll be placing some, uh, basically a hydrogen tank. Uh, I'll probably look at loading this thing up with a cargo, con a large cargo container and a, um, a mining drill or two at the top of the, I suppose what you call rocket. So I can carry whatever platinum back to the surface. Also, all these uh, landing, or well, both these uh, atmospheric slashes are going to help me land this heavy thing once I'm actually full of platinum and coming back. So hopefully it's going to be a nice, easy touchdown. So continuing on with the time lapse.
Well, <coughs> that more or less is it, I think. Now, I'm not bothering putting any uh, atmospheric thrusters pointing uh, backwards, technically backwards. I'm also hoping the uh, hinge with the cockpit will work as I anticipate. So uh, I'm going to go basically weld this up and we'll be right back. Hmm. I might be able to do enough for a test run and set up all the uh, groups and everything else. But to get a ma maiden voyage, I, this connector here on the large container, I'm going to have to uh, build a, a boom of some description coming out to the connector so I can fill it up with uh, pretty much hydrogen to start off with. Uh, I might, uh, I think I'm going to make a uh, an oxygen generator down here so I can basically plumb ice straight in to the into the craft here and hopefully all things going well it works so uh we'll just be right back after i weld this up all right okay and we're saved also excellent in that case it's a good point to actually break the save up into a new position because i've done a little a few adjustments to the initial wireframe than i had before uh, the only thing I've added in is a connector here on the side of the large container so I actually was able to use my welding ship as a bit of a cargo buff. Why is that? Uh, I'm just checking. Oh dear, he's all out of uranium. I must remember to refill that next time I use it. Actually I can nick some uranium from this thing. Uh, still getting a little bit of startering. I definitely do have the uh, the uh, uranium. Actually, uh, 0.5. That was not even anywhere near enough. I want to do at least 10. There we go. Confirm. You could probably, if the, I've got the uh, audio set to loud enough, you may hear the uh, sound skipping. That could be due to sim speed. It could be due to a lot of things. So if I put that in there, that should, yeah, there we go. Have some uranium. Lord knows I've got enough of it. Right, so everything's set up. I suppose the only thing left to do is get ready for a launch. I had to abandon my hinge idea with the cockpit because the cockpits don't, don't control through hinges. However, I've in installed a um, remote control um, it's not really a device. What is it, what is it called? Uh, just a, a remote. Is this a remote control? I don't know. Yeah, just a remote control. I've installed a remote controller here, like, pointing so I can actually get... Uh, if I use that, I can basically manipulate the craft as I would, like, up and down. Easily. Well, that's the hope anyway. Right. We are in. All the groups are set. Here we go. All right, let's get to third person view. All right, um, do do do. I can't ro rotate to third. Oh, there we go. Right. I'm excited. I'm nervous. But here we go. Right, we're turning the thrusters on. Apparently, we've got fuel time for 29 days. Apparently, okay. The landing gear is off. At least I think it is. I'm just going to double check before I actually uh, rip this thing to shreds. Uh, landing gear, no, they still say they're locked. So I haven't actually set my groups properly. Landers, uh, toggle block on and off. Aha. I have not. Okay, groups, uh, landers, switch lock. There we go. Okay, they're not unlocking for some particular reason. Hmm hmm hmm. Oh, I'm just gonna have to do it manually. Landing gear. Uh, well, actually, why was that off? Aha! Because I turned them off earlier in my other 
uh, failed grouping. Right, now we should, now they're unlocked, we're good to go. Here we go. Okay, um, no, right. Uh, pushing, uh, no, I've got to push forward. There we go, we're off. We're gaining altitude. Da, da, da. We're going to space. Now I'm just going to feather the propulsion here. I probably could just go hell, hell war and basically keep the uh, forward thrust down. But I'm just basically going to feather my speed to keep it up at a, the uh, the cap of a hundred meters per second. And this is going to be one hell of a long flight to getting out of the atmosphere. So uh, this is going to be a quick cut until uh, the point where I'm going to have to change over from my atmospheric thrusters to my hydrogen ones. And hopefully the one thruster that I've got is going to be enough. Alright, my speed is now starting to drop because my atmospheric thrusters are now failing me. I'm switching over to hydrogen. Oh, I've lost something. I don't know exactly what I lost, but something was actually lost there. Uh, I'm currently thrusting up on one thruster and I'm still, I'm not gaining any propulsion. Uh, now I'm going to go crash back down to earth. Okay, this is going to be reload. You're going to need more downward thrusters, apparently. Alright, here we go. Reloading the game. Alrighty, we're back. Now, there's one thing I noticed uh, just before we terminated the flight that the these thrusters, uh, one of them was pointing towards a nuclear reactor, tore the nuclear reactor, <laughs> the nuclear reactor, clean off. Yeah, so I'm going to have to move those and get them out of the way. And the game is basically frozen there for some particular reason. I'm getting really bad, uh, either like shit, like basically lag spikes. Not enough to kill the uh, let's play, that's for sure. But uh, it's definitely not making for easy play. My inventory is getting pretty full. So let's just fix that, shall we? What am I carrying the most of? Um, well, I don't need the component, those components. Uh, steel tubes I probably can keep. Uh, probably get rid of a hundred of those car the uh, construction components. So basically, I'm going to rip these off and put some new thrusters on the bottom and put the forward thrusters on well, pretty much the front of the ship. So be right back. All right, all the modifications are made. We've got uh, another four large thrusters on the rear end of this thing. So um, hopefully that's going to be enough. Um, uh, one little thing I had a little problem with, and that is the twin welders. I think don't like welding up the uh, was it the large thrusters here because I had several crashes trying to uh, basically do the welding quicker, but I had to do it by hand. Now, and the other little thing is I've kind of found out um, a little. I suppose oh, this is still this still going. Hmm. I've kind of find, found out the problem that's happening with my sim speed slash uh, stuttering. It's having so many of these uh, conveyors. So I'm just going to pretty much come down to here and we're going to break well, one of these tubes. And my game will actually get real, uh, really, really laggy really, really quickly. Uh, if I can actually reach one of these. Yeah, this one will do. Yep, there, we, there goes the sim speed. Okay, they're broken. And the game seems to run a lot better. I may just need to actually install maybe a connector. Maybe the uh, grid itself was actually getting too big with having so many connectors there and spanning over such a distance. Maybe that's the problem. But uh, I do get a bit better for our frame rate and everything else with that basically broken there I'm not really require mining anything from my uh, iron nickel and cobalt mine at the moment so it's okay just to leave that off right so get back into the cockpit get the view to where it needs to be 
more or less. Now we'll just do a test firing of the uh, thrusters because I did change them uh, slightly. So side, forward. Uh, okay, so they're all actually a little bit kooky. So down, yep. Uh, those side ones that's frontwards. Uh, yep, okay, all the uh, thrusters do work. Awesome. And the atmospheric thrusters haven't been changed. Alright, here we go. Fingers crossed. Of course, I've added more mass to the uh, vehicle with the extra thrusters and the conveyors, so hopefully the atmospheric thrusters have enough juice to get me to where I need to go. Right, pushing forwards. Uh, that's not getting me anywhere. Um, I think... I haven't actually reset the uh, control panel back from the last time, the last um, launch. So if I go to groups, uh, landers, and go to switch lock. There we go. Now we're unlocked. Now we can go. Now we should be good. All right. Yep. Yeah, we're taking off at a fairly good acceleration. That's pretty good. So we'll keep feathering. We'll just basically keep it at 100 meters per second. We don't really need full thrust. We just need little bursts just to keep us at max speed. So we'll be right back once we switch over to the hydrogen. Hopefully it all goes well. Okay, now I'm starting to lose velocity. Let's just uh, bring in the hydrogen thrusters. All right, now we just basically a pulse with those. I really should turn inertial dampeners off, which is that one. There we go. Yep, we're still maintaining uh, 100 meters per second. And hopefully I'll be able to get to where I need to go. I might actually just turn the atmospheric thrusters off. We're at uh, 0.75G of planetary gravity, so... Yep, here's the hoping. We'll turn those off. We don't need them. Don't need to be wasting that power. We'll keep feathering at 100 meters per second. Until such time, uh, we'll pro probably uh, stop feathering maybe around about 0.5 of a G. Maybe d drop our speed somewhat. We don't really need to be dr like, like hammering along at uh, 100 meters per second. We've just pretty much kind of... Uh, just what we need to do is break uh, planet, gra planet gravity and we're just about there. Whoa, we're nearly in space, guys. We're nearly in space. So I might just feather around 70 odd meters per second. So we'll be right back once we break planet gravity. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we haven't quite escaped uh, planet gravity yet, but I've uh, basically occurred one little problem. Uh, I'm actually all out of hydrogen. However, I did have load up my cargo container with ice, so and I've also got a um, oxygen generator that's built into the ship. So uh, basically, I'm running off of the uh, conversion of uh, hydrogen that uh, my oxygen uh, gen generator is actually uh, basically uh, giving me. So I'm I'll be able to break uh, planet gravity. We're almost there. Oh, the, the dial on the left-hand side is changing somewhat. We're actually at uh, 0.81, which probably actually could probably just uh, not thrust at all. Basically give me a little bit more chance to actually recoup some fuel. Go for another big blast there. But yeah, it's going to be really, really slow going just to get to that point where I've got zero gravity. And thankfully, I've, I've actually put an oxygen tank on the vessel as well. well I've got a, an oxygen generator, I might as well have a tank, so uh, I can breathe, so I don't have to worry about that. That's all cool. So, uh, yeah. We'll be right back once we uh, get to zero planet gravity. Not quite there yet. All right, we're at uh, 0.05 G, so we're slowly dropping speed. But uh, I think at this stage, we're going to actually uh, put in a GPS location. 
Oh, we've hit space. There's the stars. All right, new from current position. Yes, please. So we'll call that uh, base approach. It's quite a ways away, but uh, okay, we'll take that off. We'll probably actually take all these other um, things off here, and we might actually just re put the initial dampness back on because I'd really, really much like to slow down. And those three thrusters on the front are probably not going to cut it. So we're just going to flip. Actually, we'll get to go back to third person view. We'll basically point ourselves around back at the planet. And we use our main thrusters to slow us down. That's, of course, is if I actually had any fuel left. Let's have a look and see what's going on here. Okay, I've still got plenty of ice, which is great. The oxygen generator is going hell for leather. It's going, please stop. We want to stop. Let's have a look at the hydrogen tank. Hydrogen thruster. Oxygen tank. No, that's oxygen tank. I want the hydrogen tank. That is here. Filled. Yep. Absolutely none. Okay, we've, we've come to a stop. Awesome. Great. So now let's just uh, fix some stuff, shall we? Namely our GPS coordinates. We don't need this. We don't need that. Oh, well, this is not even shown. Awesome. We'll turn that off. Landing pad. We're going to keep that one on. Nickel mine. Right. So landing pad is on and base approach will keep on also. Right. Well, we've done it, guys. We're in space. We are officially in space. Now, it's time to go for cruising and probably try and find some asteroids. Um, I've got oxygen for days. I've got uh, fuel for pretty much days. So, yeah. Let's roll this thing around and uh, where to go? Where shall I find some asteroids? Well, there's some planets. I could actually go for basically try and find the planet or even see if I can't find the moon around here. Hopefully, I'll be able to find an asteroid or two around the place. But uh, here, we're going to leave the episode off. And uh, probably in the live stream, we're going to be cruising around trying to find stuff. All right, folks. Well, I've been Raytech. I'll see you all next time.